And keep in mind as well what this magnitude scale is like. So this earthquake that just happened near Oldwick, right on the border of Hunter, Huntington County and Somerset. So basically really right in Somerset County. So this earthquake was 10 times less strong than the one this morning. Obviously, regardless, we all felt it here in our studios immediately. We were like, oh no, another one. And so that's where it was. Same location, slightly weaker, but still a strong 4.0 earthquake. Very unusual to have this kind of level of magnitude earthquakes here in the Garden State. It's our first one of this size in over 100 years. Uh, but look at how many small earthquakes we've had. So today's big one on the Ramapo Fault was 4.8. But historically, within the last 100 years, you do see that there's naturally this cluster. And just so you know, aftershocks are possible for days and weeks after an original one, but they are not as strong as the original. So don't be surprised if you continue to get these rumbles, especially the next 24 hours or so. And again, the strongest one this morning likely going to be the worst of them. Well, Alex, of course, uh, roughly eight hours after that 4.8 quake this morning, we will continue to keep you updated. So do not turn off News 12. Also, you can get the app and go to News12.com. But meanwhile, we are continuing our Team 12 coverage right now. We're going to Newark, where three homes have been deemed unsafe after this morning's quake. That's where we find News 12 New Jersey's Karina Gary with more on the damage. Yes, multiple families waiting to hear when and if they will be allowed back inside their homes. It all started just after 10 this morning on 3rd Street and 7th Avenue in Newark. Now, can you tell me a little bit about what you experienced? Well, when I came home from the grocery store, I was taking the groceries in the house. And as you're taking the thing, it felt like a night train just went through. Another resident I spoke with thought it might have just been the wind until officials told him he needed to leave. Somebody comes knocking on the door downstairs, then they come upstairs and says the fire department. I figured it was a fire or something. They said we have to evacuate the, uh, the, uh, the house. The three homes are all said to be tilting to the side, and we can see the middle yellow house leaning against the neighboring house. We were also told a chimney is crumbling. Around noon, officials stuck an orange sign to the front door of three homes, notifying people the building is declared unsafe for human occupancy. But for some of the residents who struggle with English, they were unsure of what was happening. No, they don't talk to about this. They don't talk to about it. I only see that they put this uh, sign outside, but I don't know why. Residents were eventually allowed to go into their homes and quickly take a few things. In Newark, I'm Karina Gary, Newsville, New Jersey.